Hello YouTube, this is also b 200 Productions bringing you a new video. Uh, today is going to be a very different video, it's going to be another tutorial for Stronghold 2. Um, many people have been asking me that why every time that they create a map and when they log, uh, log into it, they are just utterly defeated completely right from the start. Okay, so I'm going to explain how to fix that, also how to set invasions and how to set boats. Okay, so we have our map here. Already did it. Everything, everything that you need. All right. So to fix to fix that problem of of getting defeated at the start of the, of your map, it's actually very simple. The reason why that happens is because even though you have set your borders, okay, so you know how to set borders, right? You just go here and just brush just brush out an area of the map with another color and yeah that makes another territory different territories okay even though you do that you do not set to who owns that territory and therefore you the one the one that you own doesn't even exist so your keep doesn't ex exist therefore your lord doesn't exist therefore you lose so how to fix this it's basically just like go here go to the flag set the borders click on this button that looks like a castle and click on on the territory and that's it that's actually just it and also you can click on a castle again and go to another territory and click it again and that's a castle if you want to make it as a, a state or a village you can just click on the flag and do the same thing but uh, I'm going to want this as a, as a castle okay and this is covered uh, up how to place uh, how to place the the owners um, you just go back and you just select which owner you want and that's it as you can see the map looks like this you own this state Olaf owns this one so that's, so that's basically just about it okay now next thing how to set invasions many people have been asking me and it's also very simple actually the stronghold to map editor is very very simple to use okay so you go back to the border icon and you see these flags here what happens in these flags is these are markers to set where and where does your siege start and where the where until it goes. So so let's do like this. Very simple invasion. We have our castle set up, some troops, all that, so it's basically ready. So what happens is you click on any flag, it doesn't matter. And I've already have flag set it set but that doesn't matter. Okay. So you can scroll from 1 to 8. Always remember that it's only 8, so it's kind of limited, so be careful on how how many invasions do you want, like how many different invasions do you want, because it's, uh, it's kind of limited. Okay, so we have our flag here 1, I'm not going to place, I'm just going to place back again, okay. So we have our flag 1, and we also are supposed to have a flag 2, yeah, it's right here, flag 2. Okay. So you place the flag to and you have your marker set and that's it. Now to put an invasion here, you go back, you go to edit mission, you go add new event, and you go to actions, and you click on invasion. Now what you do here is that you found these really troop icons, these really nice troop icons, and then you just scroll to the number of units that you want. So we're going to do some, yeah, small attacking force. Okay, now remember that, uh, now remember that there are ty very types, uh, only three types of, uh, of armies. It's reinforcing army, defensive, defensive army, and siege. Okay, so what will happen here, oh, and also attacking army, I'm sorry, okay. So if it's a siege, you will clearly want uh, some siege equipment. But since uh, we have a wooden castle, we won't really need that. So instead of putting a siege, just put attacking army. That will make the army just attack it right away. 
if you put as a siege the ma the second marker that you placed it will be where the siege camp will be built and they will know exactly where your castle is and they will attack it so remember if you post, put siege and you put the, the marker the marker inside the castle because they will try to put the siege camp inside the castle and that won't be effective so remember to put that outside the castle and in a, in a position that it, that it makes you more comfortable so anyway since this is going to be an attacking army you just go here and you set to red as an invasion point and you go to one and then the target point you go to red again and you go to two and that's it remember if it's a siege point it's where it's where you put they will put the siege siege gap but if it's the target point is that they want, will want to attack your state you can put it anywhere the marker in in anywhere of the state as long as it's an attacking army because they will identify who's the owner of the state and they will just attack it that's it that's that's pretty much it you can also put here like uh, from who the army is going to come from you can even set it to you which will reinforce you but since not, but since we want Olaf let's just select Olaf and the tech player you can check uh, check it as a tech player or reinforced player if you put it as a reinforced player the army that will come will turn to your color and if you do like this yeah so it will reinforce your army that's it uh, so we want it to attack and we want to attack the player you can also set if the army wants to come with the Lord or without the Lord. You can also toggle warnings if there's no warning, normal message, early warning or full warnings. You can also set it to leave map or don't leave map, which is whatever you want if they want if you want them to retreat or not, it's either your choice. Also you have here the repeat count. The repeat count is how many times you want the army to come. And the repeat time is how many months you want from each repeating army to come. But since we don't want that, let's just toggle that off. So the invention is set. What you want to do now is if you want to go here to months. You can also use the delay, but let's concentrate on months here. As you know, Stronghold 2 has a timeline, which goes month by month by month by month. So if, if you don't change this and you change it to zero, as soon as the map starts, the invasion will start. So what we want to do is that we want to go to just put it in Jan you can put it on February, March, April, May, June, July. Remember zero is January. Okay? And once you go to the over the twelve months, which eleven is December, counting with January zero. It, it will go to 12 and that 12 will be January again and so on and so forth and so forth but since I'm going to make a quick demonstration let's just set it to zero so you can they can attack right away so yeah the invasion is set just go here save map saved and what will happen is that you go here 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 wherever you save the map to and we're off. There goes the invasion, and there's the invasion going. People are coming to the castle, and they will attack your estate, and that's it. Uh, it's a very simple, very uh, simple way to put invasions. You can put the invasions really big if you wish to, and don't don't worry if you see some units delay because remember that they're AI controlled, so the AI has a plan for them. They will just send an attacking force first to just cripple your defenses and all that, so no worries about that. They will send this army right here. Oh, and there's you a bug here, disregard it. Okay, so this is how to put your your invasions. Now let's go to set uh, boats. So boats are kind of not really um, not really difficult. No, it's it's basically quite simple. Let's just uh, go here to Lisbon two. Yeah, let's go into Lisbon too. It's if you don't know which map is this, don't worry because it's one of the maps I used in one of my videos. Oh, 
Okay, this is totally not the, the one that I want. Let's just click on chapter two, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, so you have the beach here and everything. So it's it's a nice map and all. Let's just delete these ones because I didn't use them. So you got Lisbon here and all that, and you got this really nice landscape and blah 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 blah. Okay, so, but you got a beach. Okay, if you've seen this map, you've seen that I used a lot of boats in it. Boats actually work a lot. Okay, don't get scared. Okay, these are all a lot of flags. Remember that this will get a bit complicated once you put a lot of flags. But right now, since we just want to concentrate on one, let's just set it to... Let's just concentrate on this flag, which is one. And just go to... Okay, two and three and four. You will notice why I placed so many flags. It'll start. I'll start to explain. Okay, so we have our marker set, and we can go here, and you will see that I have a lot of move ships and everything, and so many, so many, so many, so many, and crap, crap, and crap. Okay, so we now have no ships on it, and let's just delete these off as well and lose you. Okay, add new event. Go to actions and scroll all the way down until you see move ship. Remember that you don't need to put any triggers. Okay, so move ship. As you can see you have this really big set of flags to put and these numbers here. I'll start to explain them. Okay, we use the, uh, the mark 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, what do these numbers mean is that these are the places where the boat will go and these numbers are how many years you want for the boat to stay on that location. So since the number 4 is near the coast, that is where I will want the boat to be. So let's just set it to 10 years and then we will place it as leave map or turn to wreck you can put it once once it gets to the final destination and it lasts 10 years there it will turn into a wreck but now let's put a leave map and, this could, and you also can choose it to be as a trade ship or viking ship let's choose it as a viking ship just to get, bring it a little more style and yeah let's set it right away move ship save map saved let's go here here and chapter 11 and there he is there he is now as you will notice the ship will go to the markers and what we'll do we will do the trajectory that I placed which is here here until the coast which will do this now why did I do this it's just to prove a point that I will present to you right away so if I didn't place that trajectory and if I placed it right away it will look very bad because let's do some editing here so let's just let me just remember which marker was it okay let's pick okay so let's do this all again let's click here let's click yes here and here okay so these are going to be the only two markers that I'm going to use on the next map on the next boat I mean let's go to edit move ship let's just okay so these are the ones that I will want okay now what will happen is that if I didn't set the trajectory as it was this will would happen which this would happen People are it would just the cross the sand not real it's not possible not anything so as you can see the boat will stay there and yeah now it looks pretty nice so remember this is how you place uh, this is how you place uh, boats it's very simple and remember to always put the trajectory so that it doesn't cross land or doesn't cross anything more than, than it should and remember to toggle how many years it's supposed to have and yeah that's about it the scenarios are going to be completely playable 
you just you just set a winning condition and you just put up any invasions you want you can coordinate the boat with invasions and yeah my friends this this is about it hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll, I'll post more videos I'm going to start my uh, Medieval 2 Total War 1143 uh, mod campaign about Portugal and Spanish Reconquista uh, I hope you may join me on that, enjoy it and share it with your friends and subscribe to it the stock to my channel and yeah my friend I hope to see you soon